from the moment Donald Trump stepped off a groaning escalator and enlightened us all about Mexican rapists, immigrants have been as central to his message as they are to the functioning of the Winter White House. Yeah, I'm tougher on illegal immigration than anybody. We are going to get them out, and we're going to get them out fast. You mentioned dreamers. I want dreamers to come from the United States. We're always talking about dreamers for other people. I want the children that are growing up in the United States to be dreamers also. They're not dreaming right now. Oh, trust me, they are. Ask their art therapists. <laughs> My kids have been soaking their mattresses like Russian prostitutes since November. <laughs> Before Bill O'Reilly got deported from Fox News, he spotted a tiny flaw in Trump's plan. You're never going to be able to deport 12 million people. That's impossible. And I told you that. Yes, I will. No, All you right. won't. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go back to time that. Time will tell. We'll if time tells, then time is a leaker. Time promised Trump its honest loyalty. Time already told Trump's predecessor that deporting everyone is impossible and dumb. That's why in his second term, he tried something new. Under President Obama, ICE focused on deportation in three categories, convicted criminals, public safety threats, and those who recently crossed the border illegally. Unauthorized immigrants who had not committed a crime could sort of be, have certain amount of expectation that if they left their home in the morning, they could come back at home and see their kids again. Well, we can't have that. Where's my signing pen? For too long, your offices and agents haven't been allowed to properly do their jobs. You know that, right? Do you know that? What we've done, just to be clear, is to untie the hands of ICE and Border Patrol agents. If you love someone, set them free. Follow your bliss, ICE. How's that working out? ICE agents arrested a father after he dropped off his 12-year-old daughter at school. Inside of courthouses. After walking out of this church. ICE agents detaining an alleged victim of domestic abuse. The woman was at a hearing to get a protective order against her partner. ICE agents in Michigan sitting down for breakfast at a restaurant, then going back to the kitchen, complimenting the chef on the waffles and arresting three workers. To be fair, they had to arrest someone so they could write it off as a working breakfast. Now, instead of tracking down criminals, ICE can just park by a church and wait for the choir to mosey out. <gasps> Feds targeting Christians? Oh boy, Hannity is gonna be so steamed! <laughs> Not that ICE is deliberately sowing pointless fear. This fear is pointful. In the same way that some guys use forced perspective to make their junk look bigger, <laughs> ICE is using unpredictable and frankly dickish detentions to make 5,000 agents seem like at least seven, seven and a half thousand, nine if you measure from the taint. <laughs> and now that it's officially open season on brown people, lots of helpful volunteers are ordering fake ICE jackets off the internet and pitching in. Attention, assholes! There is a time and a place for playing scary dress-up, and it is Halloween. <laughs> What's the benefit of making millions of people too scared to go to work or church? A lot of people who may not be criminal illegal aliens may leave on their own. We're making immigrants do the job of deporting themselves, too? <laughs> when Mitt Romney floated self-deportation in 2012, Trump gave his unsolicited opinion to something called New Smacks, which I believe is an off-brand knockoff of Spanx for active gents. Here's what Donald Trump told Newsmax in November of 2012. He, Mitt Romney, had a crazy policy of self-deportation, which was maniacal. Yes, the human equivalent of a glass of lukewarm tap water was called crazy and maniacal <laughs> by this swollen scrotum full of angry hornets. But... But 2012 Trump was right. Self-deportation is maniacal. It's basically like when you're too chicken shit to break up with your boyfriend, so you act like an asshole until he can't stand it anymore and finally leaves you. Or as I called it, college. Sorry, <laughs> Kyle. Think about this. It is now American policy to make life a terrifying nightmare for millions of residents and their families, many of whom have never known any other home. Because I, I told my mom I had this dream where it was just a normal day. She literally just comes out and the whole church is surrounded by ice people and just take her away and disappear. Instead of shaping us like normal little kids that want to have a happy life, it's kind of shaping us into kids that are really scared. You can take off the hats, boys. Greatness accomplished. 
Most Americans don't want this, but the voices that shriek from our radios do. They use terms like illegal alien to make us equate these with these. I think we've all suffered the heartbreak of losing a job to a xenomorph. It only got the job because it slept with the boss. Our country's most beloved comedian compares immigrants to nocturnal burglars. Let me ask a simple question. Do you lock your doors at night when you go to bed? Of course you do. Why? Because we don't know who's going to come through those doors. Donald Trump is locking America's doors at night. Well, of course you lock your door. You never know when Josh Duggar might come over. <laughs> There's even a certain type of person who can hear about ICE arrests and laugh. 75% of the people that the great men and women of ICE have taken into custody, 75% are criminals. The other 25% are not uh, uh, the valedictorians of the high school class. Mm. <laughs> That's, more That's right. a nice way to say it. Oh, fuck off. You giggling twats aren't even the smartest things in this camera shot. That coffee cup lies and tells his mother he's on Morning Joe. You don't get to yuck it up over a bilingual dreamer slipping to salutatorian. But Trump's tactics are producing a drop in crime figures among Latinos because now they're afraid to call the cops. The Los Angeles Police Department says aggressive ICE enforcement tactics are also having a chilling effect on Latinos reporting crimes. Since the beginning of the year, reports of sexual assault by Latinos in L.A. dropped 25 percent. Domestic violence reports fell 10 percent. Trump hasn't been responsible for such a big drop in sexual assault since he stopped running the Miss Universe pageant. <laughs> A sexual assault isn't reported, the perpetrator gets away with it, which means the one group enjoying a measurable benefit from Trump's immigration policy is Mexican rapists. Congratulations on the winning. We'll be right back. <laughs>